this is easy to pull off, but it can be screw upable. And sometimes not by your own hand, so. Alright, we're gonna grab Hibiki here. Level 36. Now really, all I'm gonna do is do one move over and over and over and over in a giant group. And I'll demonstrate it before I actually do it. Uh, throw on this one. So why not? Guessing those are all the voices for stuff. Alright. Now, yeah. now you also have to get the right mission too. If you get a mission where you, you don't have, you know, nice big groups of enemies that keep respawning, it's not gonna work. Because you'll just eventually kill all the enemies. How you do this? So I'm gonna try to clear out some of these enemies first. This is try to get out of this area so I can demonstrate this without being blown to smithereens. Okay. That out of the way. Now with Hibiki, well, I hate my connection, right? Now with, go away. Now with Hibiki, his triangle and circle lets him go into this. Which is his standard finisher, where he places a psycho drum on something and beats away. Now he has three variations of this you can do. You can do this one with square. This one with triangle. And this one with circle. And you can pretty much cancel out of it by pressing any the button, either button that doesn't activate that one to begin with. And he's also got a fourth one where you just hit triangle and circle again. Now the one you want to use if you want really stupidly high combos is the triangle. Or not, no. Apparently, no. The circle. My bad. The circle. Now, why is that? Well, see, the square, it's not, it doesn't last long enough. Plus, it sends back enemies and making them explode. Which means you're blowing up more enemies than you need to. The triangle is an area of effect and can knock enemies out of your comboing area. Which is no good. But your circle keeps everyone in and because of how he's doing it, can draw enemies in and keep doing it. Thus making your combo stupidly high. Now we'll see if we can find a group of enemies to attempt this on. Okay. Alright. Attempt one. And now, now I'm not even following my own advice because I hit triangle. Good now, one. Now, as you see, beating away at enemies, beating away, beating away, beating away, beating away, beating away. Go away, yellow water. Which means this may not work because I may get caught in that. But why this also helps is because it also gives you frames of invincibility. So you can't be knocked out of combo. See, right here, I'm in the middle of this. Blown up, but still the combo's going because I'm still in this stance. Trick is, keep your combo going. I keep doing that. This is not going to work on this mission. I managed to get it to work on uh, that map for a mission, but I need to find the right mission. I believe it's one of the major <laughs> ones with that one. One of the higher star ones. Just have to find it. But that's the basic premise of how to do it. Or at least, if you ask me, how to do it. Let's see if I can find it. So I know it's one of these blue ones. Question. What? 
Could it be done with other riders? Possible. But that you have to find something you can spam repeatedly in a very quick fashion. That's the trick, really. And that's easier said than done. And I believe it was... Let's try this one. And I mainly just stop DCUO right now because I want to actually see this without it pausing for five seconds, then trying to catch up, and then pausing for five more seconds, trying to catch up. Yeah. But I found it's easiest to do this with Hibik because it's two buttons, then one again. And you just keep spamming it. It's a spammable move you can keep doing over and over and over in, able, in order to pull this off. What, whether anyone else is able to do this, you have to really just play them to find it out. I'm saying some of them probably could be. Others, maybe not. All depends. I just find Hibiki is the easiest to combo with. Okay, then. Let's get everybody lined up! Now, where I say you can have, you can be screwed out of your do, your combo without happening. Okay, you see how I'm surrounded with enemies, correct? Yeah. You literally have to get in this as soon as you get out of it. Or else, you are threatened. You could, in fact, be hit by one of the enemies, thereby breaking your combo. And turning all your work into nothing. So you have to be well around, well aware of your surroundings, and hope nobody's gonna hit you just when you get out of this. So I'm already in the 700s. Ease. Cutscene. Ah, and see, right there, got hit by enemy after a cutscene, and it killed my combo right in the 800s. Ah, and you got it up to eight twenty four. It looks like. Yeah. Whoa, big shiny on the stream, and that just lagged me up there. Okay. Well, wow. I guess... The good thing is, since there's a boss so early. These enemies are just going to keep respawning, so I'm never going to run out of enemies to do this endlessly with. Plus, even though these enemies are really easy to defeat, they're kept in the combo so they are kept from dying. So I can extend their usage to me for combos. And I screwed it up. Because I hit... Because I did not air... And another cutscene, of course. Okay. This is the same mission I did this on before. The good thing is, the bosses are just going to stay up there and not come after me at all. Unless I really start approaching them. Which will be good. Wasted all my enemies. So I'll think. I thought she said they wouldn't uh, quit coming. They're all up there. That's why. <laughs> oh. So see now. Yeah. That's the problem. <laughs> they're spawning. They're just spawning well, far too away. Too far away. So I need to try to get these guys. To Wrangle on or towards me and not have these guys come after me, which is probably what's going to happen, and it is. So, bollocks. Like I said, this is not easy to pull off. <laughs> And 
and also a demonstration of the invincibility frames you get, because as you saw, Phoenix threw his fire tornado right through me, and I just like, up, oh, no. Nah. <laughs> so as long as I'm in this, beating away, I can't be hurt and can't break the combo. It's when I get out of this, this can I be hurt and thereby break the combo. I just gotta hope that I can use Phoenix just long enough. Not Phoenix, uh, Odin long enough to help keep this combo alive. Nope. I have to restart the mission. Because I did two screw ups and that killed it. 824, though. The, uh, the combo thing should reach into the 1200s in terms of the names you see, names you're going to see. Uh, what was the highest you got? Uh, 1700. Mm. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this attack up off. Um, hang on, I have to console the wiki here. I need range. Pegasus, okay. Hi, Wiki. Is that it? No, that's the Akito. Akito. Should be down here. Pegasus. Yep. Special attack range up. There we go. I There's a Wiki that translates all the figures, so I know exactly what they do. So I've got a normal attack range up, medium, a special attack range up, medium, and a special attack up small. Which will help, because that encompasses more enemies, causing more damage, making your combo go up significantly more. <laughs> the trick is not to kill enemies, just to air juggle them. So you don't want damage, you want range with it. If you have damage, then you're going to run out of enemies fast. Like you did right there? Yep. Alrighty then. So what I need is all these guys to be gathered up. So I'm just going to kind of run around. And like get over in this corner. And beat away! And you can make your combo go up fast enough where you don't even see the numbers, as you saw there for a quick second. Jeez. Okay. We're in the 400s. I don't want to go current eye, because I feel that will be do more damage than it needs to. That'd be Hibiki's, uh, one of his two forms, with his final form being armed. Alright, 700. Cut Extreme. Survive. Fever. And all these names are references uh, to the writers of the sh writers. And I have just went past where all the names are, so... Oh, Shining. There we go. I was about to say, I'm out of names. No, not yet. Just got the Shining. Climax. Complete. Wow, you're running through them so quick, it's funny. Yep. I mean, when you you said complete, it just hit climax on the string. For me. Oh. And now I'm out of names. <laughs> 1700, out of names. 
1800 see if we can hit two grand 1900 Yep, 2,000. <laughs> Holy crap. <laughs> and still going. Yep. 2,200. What's the highest you've ever seen? Uh, right now this. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> that 1,700 was the highest I ever... God, now, now, now I've just broken that completely. You haven't seen anyone else on a stream or anything get an ungodly amount? No. <laughs> I wonder what the max is. I'm assuming it's going to be 9999. <laughs> you would hope. Yeah. But how you legit get that, I don't know. Ah, <sighs> oh, it broke it. Yeah. But I was out of enemies uh -huh. anyway, so. It was gonna drop anyway. Now to go beat the crap out of him. Yep. Oh. Gonna go Hibiki Kurenai. Which is really just Red Hibiki. <laughs> well, finish off Odin. Love doing that one to finish off the enemies. And we shall do arms for the rest of the, for these other two. And as you see, I didn't touch in Dagava Zeba, and yet that one strike nearly killed him. I think I got, I got a double kick. Woo! Got that duple. I've never really done that before. I double killed, <laughs> double killed a uh, Phoenix in Indagava Zepa. <laughs> I didn't plan on that, but I'll take it. <laughs> that was awesome. And right, I gotta deal with the Cassius duo. Wonder if you can go for a double double. Maybe, but as you see, um, that's what happens. When you do the square on enemies that you know, aren't bosses, they get sent back and explode! And I also love doing this triangle move. Ooh. Oh, worm ass. Oh god. There we go. I just bounced them backwards. That works. <laughs> uh, you almost got a double double. Yep. And Did I... you just miss that? And still got him wait. Yeah. <laughs> huh? I don't know. It's probably because the big uh, area that happens at the, right at the end of that drum. Which made him bounce backwards and make me get him. Oh no, not again! Ow, not again. Now, you're also wondering why it. Why I, you should care to actually know that? Well, look up at my points right now. Nearly 8,000 points. <laughs> Your points are directly tied to how much you can combo, really. Because you get a whole lot of points off of combos. And if you have a high enough combo, the points you have going for you are multiplied. So doing stupidly ridiculous combos gives you more points, which allows you to get all the figures and all the music. And I am so sick of you, Eternal. <laughs> Choke on this. I'm tired of you comboing my ass. <laughs> I was wondering when you were going to get fed up. Yeah. Well, like I said, it allows you to get a whole lot of points really quickly. So in one mission, I've nearly got a 
B level figure. Because B level figures are around 10 grand. One mission! And as you see, it probably took me, what, like 10 minutes to pull that off? Probably. By the way, you've managed to do two double kills. <laughs> I saw that one. Well, that's because the Shinkakse from Hibiki literally killed both of them. Literally <laughs> dropped both of them to nothing as soon as I did it. We're just gonna skip that cutscene. <laughs> literally, I did that one move and just boom, death. <laughs> <laughs>